Hi, hi, hi. Hello, everyone. So I just wanted to bring you an update on Alyssa Taylor. Um, if you are not familiar with her case, I will read what is attached here. This is um, Unsolved Mysteries. On September 27th, they said, have you seen Alyssa Nicole Taylor who disappeared after a crash? In the early morning hours of September 14th, a tractor trailer carrying chickens struck an overpass on I-85 near Hillsboro, then overturned and burst into flames. By the time the fire was extinguished by the Orange Rural Fire Department, the trailer was badly damaged. The truck's cab was completely gone and barely more than the transmission was left from the engine. The driver, 51-year-old Daniel Eugene McNeil of Exmoor, Virginia, was killed in the crash, along with his dog. The impact of the truck and the fire that followed was so damaging to the bridge's structural integrity, the NC Department, North Carolina, of transportation has kept the overpass closed. And now a Virginia family is seeking answers and assistance about a loved one they believe was on the tractor trailer at the time of the fatal crash. And this is her image again. This is Alyssa Taylor. Now I'm going to bring you over to a video. Um, and we had seen this really quickly. Um, I had shown you guys this off of the Ants Facebook but it's in news coverage and that's fantastic to be getting coverage out there. So let me play this for you. In the disappearance of an Eastern shore woman today, family told us they found new evidence. And a federal agency has expressed interest in helping with this case. Ten on your side, John Dowding first told us about this disappearance last week. John, what is the very latest? Well, Stephanie Regina, it's funny how something so small can mean so much. Family members of Alyssa Taylor found an earring in a storm drain at the scene of a fiery crash. They believe she perished in. And with this discovery, they want more eyes on this case from other agencies to help find answers and find Alyssa. Since September 13th. Have you or any of your other family members heard from Alyssa? No. Two weeks after reporting her missing, family members of Alyssa Taylor believe the 25-year-old mom of two died in a fiery crash on I-85 in North Carolina on September 14th. The crash killed the driver, Danny McNeil. But North Carolina agencies who responded to the crash say they found no evidence of Alyssa at the scene. Before leaving North Carolina last week, family members decided to go back to the scene of the accident. We wanted to do a memorial for her as well as for Danny, you know, because Danny did die, you know, his family six hours from that scene. I can't imagine a loved one dying and being that far away. While there, they made a shocking discovery, all caught on camera. You got it? Oh my God. Oh my God, it's a rearing. <laughs> It's definitely her earring. Family members found one of Alyssa's earrings in a storm drain at the scene of the crash. Yes, this is my baby's earring. As soon as I saw it, I was like, wait a minute. I'm pretty sure, because we were going through pictures previously, I'm like, I'm pretty sure I have a picture of her wearing that. And so we pulled it up, and sure enough, we do have a picture where she's wearing that exact same pair of earrings. Alyssa's aunt, Sabrina, says they want the case to be handed over to another agency to investigate further. She says the family met with FBI officials who said they're willing to take over the case if handed over to them by North Carolina State Highway Patrol. Yet after weeks with no answers, family members just want to know what happened to Alyssa. People don't just vanish, so she's somewhere. And, you know, we're not going to give up. We're, we're going to fight to find her. The family members will give the earring they found to Accomack County investigators this week. A cell phone was also recovered by investigators, but at this point, they don't believe it's related to Alyssa's disappearance. I'm John Dowding, 10 on your side. Right, okay, so. New development. That was quite a, um, I mean, they said that the FBI is willing to take over this case. Now, it's just the fact that the North Carolina Highway Patrol won't turn it over. Why? 
why not turn it over? You, you've already done, they already went out. They said that they searched the um, landfill, right? And they said that there was nothing. The dog didn't pick up on anything. So at this point, if you're done, you've done, you think you've, you've done your duty, turn it over to the FBI. Turn it over to any anyone else um, instead of holding on to it. Um, right now, the uh, I believe it's ECMA uh, or uh, they they're in Virginia. They're the ones that have the missing person case. And so this is the update that um, her aunt Shelley had given, which is I know it's been a few days since I updated everyone. Alyssa Taylor, uh, Alyssa Taylor's case is still being investigated. She is considered missing until it's proven that she never got out of that truck. As everyone can imagine, this is a very difficult time, especially on Krista Taylor. Myself and Sabrina Taylor are still working with detectives and reporters. Our family won't stop until we have answers. We will have a service for Alyssa Taylor, but not until we have more answers. Please respect my sister and know um, and know when a service is planned, we'll let you know, we'll let everyone know. When we know more information about the case, we'll update everyone. Thank you to everyone that has helped my family. We truly appreciate you all. And it says hashtag Eastern Shore Strong. So ultimately, it's claimed to still be investigated. However, what it's being, what part of it is being investigated is the missing person portion of it which is out of Virginia, um, they, I, I had seen that um, supposedly it's claimed that there's footage of the truck going to stops and only Daniel getting out of the truck, him being the only one that was seen getting in and out of the, the tractor trailer. And so therefore that's part of the reason that they're claiming that sh they don't believe that she was even in the vehicle anymore. <clears throat> so um, I just wanted to give you guys that quick update and let you guys know, um, you know, please continue to share it out. Try to get this family, um, you know, to be able to have somebody else step in. If enough noise is created, then possibly we can get this turned over to somebody else. And we already know the FBI is willing to take it. So um, it's not like it's there's there's no one willing. Uh, so, you know, I, I was contacted by somebody that um, said they tried to post Alyssa's case on a Reddit thread and it got denied and it was stated that it was not true crime. How is a missing person not true crime? She's missing. The bottom line is she's missing no matter which way you look at it, whether she was or was not. You've either got somebody that's alive and missing, right? Or possibly deceased and somewhere else and missing or was in that wreck and deceased and missing. This family deserves closure. They deserve closure. They deserve to be able to get her and to bring her back home and be able to lay her at rest in peace where they choose, you know? So um, please continue to share her story and continue to talk about it and see if we can get, um, get this turned over. But uh, thank you for listening, everybody. I greatly appreciate it. Thank you so much. I'll talk to you guys in my next video. Thank you. Have a good one. Bye, everyone.